here, don't fall. I'm getting rid of this stupid thing first. Some handyman work. <laughs> you don't like Bob, it's not <laughs> handyman work. I did it, I went to school, I'm a carpenter. Floyd, be quiet. So Pam wants... What? Oh, it wasn't you then? No! Ugh, then Rommel farted or something. <laughs> So I was like, come on, Pam. Oh, that's a fresh one. I'm like, if you're if wow. you're gonna My confine name's it, wow. shush, shush, shush. <laughs> hey, shush. You want a hand towel and I got where's okay. that other one I hand got? Hand towel rack. Where's that ring? The ring one. Oh, I don't know. I thought You just got it a Yeah, but I put it back because I didn't think oh, you did wanted you? it. Because this one here, the kids are gonna rip right out of the wall. I can't get oh. drywall anchors into this. You can't? You said you were gonna look for a stud. You found one. <laughs> There's so a stud. I'm helping. <laughs> You're very helpful. Where do you want it? You want it here or where do you want it? Yeah, this should be good. Just right there. Mm -hmm. These things are very basic too, and because I don't know where the stud is, if I'm gonna, if I find the stud here, I'm in a bit of a problem here. What are you doing? Don't drop in, the screw. Putting in some drywall Ooh. anchors. Is that what those plastic things are? You're good. Uh, it's very, very basic stuff. <laughs> so I'm not really that good. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, well, what'd you do? That's just the paint. You broke it. I didn't break it's through. ruined. It's ruined. Sell the house. And then just screw these things in. That's it. That's it? Seriously? Ta-da! It's on there getting steady? Yep. One anchor is worth as, uh, holds 30 pounds around 30 really? pounds so we got two of them in there yeah, the problem in the old the old house is that the kids would hang on these things when they're coming out of the the shower and it would yeah. pull it right out of the stupid well now they just need to keep the towel on the thing because i had one hanging on the mirror if it falls down there in the pp zone gross. Ew. what is ramo doing to you it's like uh you know you do realize if ramo lets one rip it's like directly Right shot, right in your face. Okay? <laughs> I'm just, and he's the farty one. You know, he just let one go like five That's like Russian roulette. You, you and his playing dog Russian roulette, he's like, go ahead, <laughs> try it. It might be. Hi, Floyd. That's all right, he's just playing with him. Oh, Dad. He won't okay. get sick, what? Remember when we would uh, put glasses on Floyd's like, tail? Oh, on his butt, no, some sunglasses? Yeah. He's like, I want to dance, Mom. I want to dance. It would look like his snubber. Rama, were you play? Were you playing with with Ewan? Eh? Eh? Hey, all right. Oh, let's see. Floyd comes in with his giant tongue. There, we're done. So I put the little hand towel thing here near the wash thing, and then we put two paintings up. We thought we'd offset them. We tried making them level with the mirror, then level with each other, then lower than down, and this looked the best from out there, and then all of a sudden I hung that as well. And yes, they are level. I used a level to make sure that they're nice and straight, but there you go. It's, it's done. They're boys' bathroom. It'll be clean for a little bit. Doesn't stay clean long. Mm-mm. It gets super disgusting super fast. Just like probably in your homes. It's gross. Bye, Romo. I gotta go out. You're not coming with me. Bye, Boots. Bye, Boots. we be good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, Goofball. Yeah, Goof. All right. Well, heading out. I gotta get Cal some deodorant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't let that stuff run out. And then I gotta go get a lemon zester for the baked fennel that I'm making tonight. Never tried it before. It's from that uh, that Thug 101 kitchen book. So I thought I'd try it. We were gonna make it last night. Uh, we ended up making those Brussels sprouts, which is a new recipe too, which I really liked. But I didn't have a zester, and I, I wanna make sure that I do the recipe properly. You know what I mean? Not using a, a grater or anything like that, but let's go. I did it again. I arrived too early. Is my seat really far up? 
I thought my seat was up. Like we have settings and Pam's always really close and if you're like, I'm all crunched up. Uh, too early to pick up Liam, so I'm sitting here, but I did get what I needed for tonight's dinner, which is that uh, baked fennel. Never had fennel before, so that's gonna be interesting. But I didn't, I was supposed to make it last night, but I didn't have a zester, so I ended up going to the grocery store and then and I ended up getting one of the zesters uh, for the lemon, just so I can mix it in with the breadcrumbs or panko. And then I got a bunch of other stuff, including wine gums, because you know why? Because wine gums are amazing. Yeah, sure, I gotta make healthier choices, but it's you can't cut everything out. You still gotta enjoy eating it. It's moderation. If I have a few wine gums or a bag of them in a short period of time, I'm not going to die. I know it's counterproductive, but hey, I'm making a lot of choices you know, that are that are healthy, but whatever. Oh, and on that note, I just wanna say this. This isn't meant to be a ring it or uh, complaining against anyone, but certain people get confused about vegetarianism versus vegan, or, you know, what's this? Or I've seen it in the comments in multiple videos. First of all, and, and foremost, I don't wanna be labeled in any particular group. I'm not doing this to be one of those trendy people to hang out with these coleslaw, eating hippies you know that love that movement you all got your reasons if you're a vegan or a vegetarian you've got your own reasons that's cool what you eat and what you choose to eat is your choice you know i don't like being necessarily labeled vegetarian is the closest i could come up with so that people kind of understand what i'm doing but i'm simply cutting out meats i don't want to eat beef anymore i don't want to eat chicken i don't want to eat pork and i don't want to you know no cold cuts i don't want to eat necessarily even fish you know some vegetarians will actually cut out all the other meats but still eat fish once in a while there's all sorts of different levels of vegetarianism and and whatever you want to label me one of those that's cool but i don't really care i'm simply making choices myself i don't want to eat meats that's it so whether you call me vegetarian or whatever certainly not a vegan because i like pizza and pizza's got normal cheese on it so that's the way it is you know and also the comments there's only one comment but i'm just going to illuminate you a little bit uh for who whomever you are I, mean, I was joking around in the comments with you and everything like that you're like you know cheese comes from cows it's not it's meant to simulate so you know what the vegan thing is trying to simulate so it's like okay we're taking tofu or soy protein and trying to simulate what check chicken is uh, you know the chicken texture or simulate what a beef burger is it's you call it a burger you call it a chicken breast so that they know what it's going to sort of simulate in terms of texture no you don't want to try and trick your brain into eating chicken but sometimes food a lot of times is the texture so yes i know cheese comes from milk which comes from animals not necessarily from cows because you're forgetting about goat cheese and everything like that just a little fyi but i get that so vegan cheese which has no dairy in it is just meant to simulate what cheese is like you know what i mean i'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory but i like explaining this stuff anyway so just a little bit of a rant there i don't want i'm not concerned and i'm not saying this to be rude to any of you that are vegan vegetarian I'm not I don't I'm not interested in becoming part of the club. I'm not interested in your rules or or these other vegans rules and vegetarians. I simply choose what to eat and what not to eat. That's it. My choices. I don't care what other people eat. I don't care what it's labeled. I just want to cut meat eating, you know, meats out and that's it. And for the most part, I avoid milk and I avoid normal cheeses, but once in a while if I'm having a veggie pizza, it's gonna have cheese on it, and I'm okay with that. Heck, this isn't good for me, you know, but I'm still gonna be eating wine gums. Beer and, and whiskey's not the greatest for me. I'm still gonna be drinking that. Oh yeah, you can be, you can count on that. So anyway, not a rant, just a little illumination here, people, you know? A little bit of uh, where I am and, you know, that's cool what you do, but don't label me in the same group because I'm not interested in all these rules. What's up, meatball? Oh, did you see this? I found them. Remember we were looking for the President's Choice wine gums? You were looking. No, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, I like them. Yeah. You, you got to try one of these and see what the difference between this and the other one. I think these might be a little bit fresher, too. Not as, you know, not as super... Are, are... Come on, come on. Let's go. Open it up. We don't want to be sitting around here waiting for you forever to try it. Ew, you... Your gum? You couldn't just put it in the garbage? Whatever. I want to know you had wine gums. Jeez. Try those out. Those are the President's Choice ones. I think they taste I gotta get a green. Almost, almost better. I gotta get a green. Just eat, eat one. 
Are they softer or chewier or what? Those are better. Yeah, I know. The present's choice. But Maynard's is, be is better. They smell less vinegary. Yeah, yeah. They are better. Present Choice makes a better wine gum than the well-known Maynard's. Fact, people. Fact. If you want to try wine gums and you're in Canada, get the PC brand. All right, it's dinner time. I don't know if I ruin these. I've never made fennel before, so I don't know. Um, but I cut the tops off of them. This isn't what you're supposed to eat. It's this, the bulbs themselves. And then we're supposed to slice them like this. Uh, and then bread them and put them in the oven and crisp them up. So hopefully I'm doing these right. All right, this is what we're trying to make. Look at that, crispy fennel, okay? Never had fennel before. This is what they look like. We got the dry panko crust stuff ready to go there. Some olive oil that you gotta coat, put them on there, then parchment paper, then into the oven. The only thing I added differently in this, like, for, it's a very basic recipe, but I was like, ah, I put a little bit of garlic seasoning in there, some uh, dry garlic, and then I also put, uh, what else did I put in there, babe? What did I put in there? Uh, oh, some Parmesan. No, the lemon's part of it. Some uh, Parmesan, grated Parmesan in there to add a little bit of a uh, flavor. What's that? That is my cognac. That does not <laughs> go. That, that does not go in there. That goes in my belly. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this garlic and uh, ginger infused sesame seed oil in there as well to give it a little bit of a zing. Trying the the fennel. This is the first time you or I have ever tried fennel, so I have no idea. Overcooked? It's it seems soft, like really soft. When I was trying to spatula it out. Oh, it's good. What's the taste like? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You don't know, but and this the mixed uh, tempa soy stuff. How's that stuff? Is that all right? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, first things first, I'm gonna try this tempa because I've had it before and I really wasn't fond of it. Hmm. This is fine. The stuff I had before in whatever that restaurant is, I'm not gonna say the restaurant because I can't obviously remember the name either, but it tasted a lot different than this and I wasn't fond of it, but this is kind of very neutral not really that much flavor other than the pad thai sauce on it. So that's all right. Now, for this, uh, this fennel, it seems very soft, like overcooked broccoli mm -hmm. or cauliflower. It melts away. It, it's the outer stalks are stringy like celery, but the inside's very, very, very soft. I'm gonna try that again, actually. Yeah, it's all right. I, I honestly, it doesn't taste bad. I probably wouldn't repeat it. I think I, I'd prefer other things. I'd rather I, I prefer the. Uh, baked in the braised Brussels sprouts more texture to it. This just seems soft. It's not much flavor Kind of bland neutral it's something to try. It's not too bad, but Oh, well, it's another dinner. I like trying new stuff and now I tried fennel for the very first time You guys want to try it try looking it up I mean this is a very basic recipe. It's olive oil panko sliced in quarter inch thick slices and 30 minutes at 400 in the oven and that's it Hope you guys liked today's video. It's kind of a, a slow day. A little bit of a rant on the vegan, vegetarian sort of stuff there, but you know, I just thought I'd talk about it on a slow day. Why not? You know? It doesn't know I'm not always out flying kites and like, oh, look at this! It's another adventure! We'll see you guys tomorrow. Squish your head!